Hey guys, this is Jorge from the Big Bang Podcast. I'm here with my co-host, Adrian Pedrin. So what, what happens if we live in a world where the work finds us? That is the topic of this episode. For, for a, little bit, a little bit of context for you guys is that uh, this, this episode was inspired by Gizmodo's Reputation Bill. Um, I think it was three weeks ago where they recorded it. Um, you know, I, I advise you guys to go and check it out. But basically, is they are asking... Or they try to to ask the question, um, you know, what happens when we live in a world where we we as people are rated by fellow humans and also by machines, in this case algorithms. Um, we want to take that step, you know, take it further. Um, last week we recorded the episode about, um, you know, a perfect living in a perfect utopia, and I think it, you know, it it, it intersects with today's topic. So basically, you know, what, what you know, how do we get to the point where we can, you know, in this case, maybe, you know, like Adrian and I, we are basically mavericks. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we are. We're, we're mavericks. We're misfits. We don't fit in, and 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 we we you know we succeed in spite of uh, the the machine. You know, and if we continue on, or the world continues on, you know, to a point where in five years, you know, basically everybody's going to be rated, um, and people will make decisions based on those on those ratings. Um, you know, where does that leave people like us? <laughs> So what what do you think of that? Where how do we deal with this? <laughs> oh my god. Um <clears throat> well first of all I don't like um I don't like that you give a lot of people the power to rate someone else and it's mostly like cocky people. That's just like it's chaos for me. It's gonna blow up in their faces eventually. So if you got those type of people rating us, rating everyone, it's 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 I don't know. It reminds me that a, a, a guy I know called me the other day because I haven't finished a project that he paid me like nothing to do, and I told him that I was gonna grab projects by priority. The more you pay me, the more, the faster I'll, I'll do it. And he called me up and told me, "You are the worst producer, director, editor I have ever met." You will never do more than dead zombie movies when you want to make living zombie movies. And he tried to, like, code it there. Yeah. And I want my money back. I want my $25 back because that's what, that's what he was paying me. <laughs> and he he tried to make me feel like shit. And I know that guy would have, like, reviewed me Different in way. a very aggressive way, if he had the, the, the opportunity, even though I know him and he's my friend. But if you you have those type of people with the power to review you, and that review like modifies your life or your your future, yeah, it's 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 not um, it's not. I don't think it's fair, even though life isn't fair. But I don't think it's fair. They they shouldn't have. Uh, it shouldn't be that way. Yeah, it shouldn't be that way. But but it is. It is it's going that way. And 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 it's and it's been happening for for quite a, some time because I mean, um, you know, Google Google is basically an, an algorithm. Um, yes, um, you know, people. I mean, there's ways you know people, you know, have some say in how your your website in this case your website is, you know, is ranked. But you know, in the in the truthfully. You know, it, it, every, everything depends basically on Google. And the reason I'm saying this is because um, it's, I mean, it, it, it goes to other places like, like even Uber where people are rated based on, on you know, you know the, the stars. Um, and but you can rate them like, this. my driver was too chatty. Yeah, you can do that. My driver was too silent. My driver <laughs> listens to rock. I don't like rock. Yeah. But that, it's like assholes. I mean, there's a lot of people who are just plain jerks and assholes who just want to, you know, mess people's, <laughs> just want to mess with people. I mean, that's that's really it. I mean, even like I want to feel powerful. Yeah, and even like what I was saying. I mean, I have a blog, and so I've I've had this issue for a long time. You know, basically every time I publish something, I know that there's more than half a dozen websites that are republishing my post in some undisclosed website in some some other location. And if you go to Google and, you know, search my, you know, recent posts, those websites will pop up because they've been doing their link building more than I have. 
And, it does, and, and, and the link building, by the way, is, is a technique to get your website up, up in the rankings, which I, I really don't do. I don't really care about it. <laughs> I mean, it, but um, the, 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 the problem here is that if you see my content in somebody else's website, it, you will be, you're basically just taking the concept, but you're not le le really learning where it came from, and that's me. But if you go to my website, that's what you're going to perceive. And, and this is what happens, what's wrong with it, because um, we don't really get to the truth. <laughs> we don't. I mean, it's because there's a system there, there's all these other things playing against us. And, uh, you know, it, 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 you can take this to, um, to the extreme about work. Um, you know, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, particular to me, I mean, I think, I mean, I'm not going to say it sucks, but I don't think it plays to, to people like, like us, you know, to our strengths. <laughs> it doesn't play to misfits. Exactly. It, it caters to, you know, people who fit in. <laughs> Popular people. People who fit in. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't, it really doesn't play to our strengths. Um, and I think that's, that has to change. Now, and, and it also, there's the, uh, you know, if, if looking into the future, you know, if this continues, like I was saying in the beginning, you know, people like us, or, you know, keep on fighting with the system. I mean, that's just the way it's going to be. And, you know, obviously there's ways to play around the system, and we can talk about that in a different episode. But, you know, the point being is that if you're always giving pe the same people the same jobs, the same things, I mean, when do new people get the opportunity? <laughs> when do they have their say? And that's really the issue here. So, I mean, what, so what, what do you think is the problem with... Um, with the ratings beyond just uh, you know people just want to messing around with your you know with your rating in this case I mean it's, it's ridiculous I know uh, just imagine I mean I, one of the things that I touched upon on the last episode was the you know what if what if what if um, authenticity authenticity was a currency you know how does how does authenticity change the system <laughs> and there and we can take it to the extreme here I mean we we're talking off air and I was saying, you know, what if we implanted microchips in people's brains? Because you can, you know, if you, if you study neuroscience, you can tell when people, when people are lying, even though, uh, you know, reading body language, you can, you can be certain about it. But, you know, let's, let's get deeper. What if we installed chips in people's brains? And anytime somebody's really lying, that shocks them. <laughs> <laughs> and it sends us all a signal that, you know, I don't know, some uh, type of signal that tells us, oh, this person's lying to you. It's not, he's not, he or she is not being authentic. <laughs> You just want to messing around with somebody, just bullshitting. I mean, what happens? What happens when you eliminate bullshit? <laughs> that, <laughs> that reminds me when I I used to apply to because there was a time in my life where I felt pressured to get a a nine to five. Well, it's not even a nine to five, but a, a retail store job because that's the easiest thing to get, kind of. Yeah. Well, not so easy as I found out, but. I do remember, like, when you filled out the applications, why do you want to work here? And you always had to lie. It's like, yeah. you, you had to tell them, because I, I love no your... No, I, no option. <laughs> I love your brand. I love you. I wish I could work for you guys and learn, blah, 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 blah. It's all bullshit. I, I mean, I think they know it's all bullshit, but what if I actually, like, wrote down, oh, because I'm being pressured into getting a job because people think, think or say that I don't, don't do anything. And, I mean, <laughs> well, I... I'm shooting very low with you guys, so my odds of getting a job with you guys, I think, are pretty high because your company sucks. <laughs> so that's why I want to work with you, <laughs> to get people off my back. I mean, I think that a lot of people would write something like that. What would happen then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, all that, because once you get in a company, it's all like you got to kiss the ass of the higher-ups and then kiss the ass of your manager, blah, blah, blah. But what if you didn't do that? You're just doing it because you need more money or you need the money and you need more money. But what if yeah. you didn't do that? What if you, you... You know what? I don't think you're doing anything correctly, manager. You know, so, I, I, I once went to a... Um, <laughs> this was an old client, but I basically went in there and said, you know, you know the reason... And, and this is what I always do. I mean, I'm, I'm super honest with people and I don't, I don't really care. Uh, but I, I, I mean, my, one of my, my goals in life is to be the most authentic person at, at all times. So me being that way, going to, you know, one client prospect at that moment, um, I went there and the, part of the pitch was, listen, 
I really want to work with you guys. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you why. I want to start. I want to stop. You know, being associated with crap. And I think if 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 I get to work with you guys and I get to help you guys reach reach your goals, I can do that. You know, we're not going to be doing crap because you guys don't do crap. <laughs> and that's the reason I'm here. That I remember. I still remember the, the other person's face was like, like, is this real? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, is this guy, or is this guy insane, or, I mean, is, who the hell is, I mean, who is this guy, right? Who comes in and tells, you know, pitches himself like that? I mean, and, and that's, that's the way it goes, but it changed the conversation because it, it takes you to another, another, another place, you know, instead of, you know, talking about prices and costs and all these other things, you start talking about the real thing. Why, why are we aligning, <laughs> right? And then, then becomes another conversation. And and I've I've gotten a lot of clients just doing that, other and there's been other where you know they've been shocked, you know, shocked the shit, but and they've <laughs> turned around and said no, no thanks, we don't want to work with somebody who's really authentic, is gonna give away all our secrets because <laughs> we really do suck, right? <laughs> right? I mean, it's true, but I mean that's that's the way it goes. Um, but imagine imagine if that were you know less anomaly, more of a norm. <laughs> Yeah. What if you could go in some place and say, "Listen, I think you guys suck because of this and this and that." And obviously, I suck too. But listen, I've done my work. I've done my homework to become better, right? <laughs> Isn't that what we should be striving for? Why aren't are you? <laughs> you know what happens to me every time? Every time I go into a restaurant, every time, that's what I want to do. And there is a difference if you say, "You know what." Your restaurant sucks or your food sucks. But to me, is you know what? Your service sucks. You need to do this, 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 and that. That to me is like, it's very different because you're, you're actually telling them what they should be doing and how they can make everything better. Yeah. And I always want to do that just because I, I grew up being pampered in family restaurants. Like, I know what good service is or yeah. good food is. So whenever I go into a restaurant, for me, it's... It's that. It's like, oh my god. Okay, no, I control yourself. You're not gonna tell them anything about their food. You're not gonna tell them anything. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> but yeah, it's normally everything sucks. I don't know why people keep doing. You know, I things. I think yeah. Yesterday, yesterday, um, there was an article published on Fast Company where the author of the article, I don't remember his name, is basically saying um, how Apple is killing design. And it's a long, long article. It's not a short one. It's a long, long one. You're probably going to be reading for like 10, 15 minutes. But the point is that he's bashing Apple. Now, Apple is either number one or number two most valuable company in the world behind Exxon. Um, I'm not sure anymore but what, what his, their, their ranking is. But they're either number one or number two. So he's bashing the, the number one and number two most valuable company in the world. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that article has more retweets now than it did last night or yesterday when I read it. Um, and I think, you know, I don't think he's, his intention was to be provocative with the piece. He's just basically stating, and if you read it, you read it you'll, you'll, you'll notice it's, it's a thoughtful one. It's not one he just, uh, oh, uh, he was using the Apple, the, the Mac, and yeah, ah, I want to write something about Apple. I mean, it's not like that. He literally took some time to put some thought into it. So, but the thing is, those type of articles in our world are seen as provocative. <laughs> but how, could it, how, we, how do we get to the point where those things are not provocative, they're the norm? You know, for example, in my blog, and I'm critical, and, and, and I've been you know, told many times in the comments section of my blog, oh, you shouldn't write this. <laughs> and I'm like, that's exactly why I'm writing it. <laughs> because nobody's going to say it. <laughs> right? I have no issues. Plus, why would I want to work with a company who, who is, is in, in perpetual state of sucking? I mean, right? Because I remember this guy went one time into my blog and left a comment in there. He said, you shouldn't read writing about this because it's going to give you a lot of potential to get, get more jobs in the future. And I responded, well, that's exactly why I'm doing it because I'd rather not have to work with that type of company. I want to work with companies who actually want to, want to be great, right? If you want to be great, by, by, by definition, you are kicking suckness to the curb, to the to the curb right so so i think there's a lot of things that have to happen before we get to the point where people like us the misfits will not be playing against the system 
that still, you know, uh, how are we, how are we, how are we saying uh, about the other episode? Oh, celebrating crap, right? Mm -hmm. Or celebrating mediocrity, celebrating more of the same, um, celebrating more of the same people just uh, doing the same old stuff, right? Um, and I think that's 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 one of the issues, right? I mean, if you see a, that piece like the one from Apple, you'll say, oh, that's provocative. They shouldn't write that, but really. That's how it should be done. That should be normal. It shouldn't be a big issue. <laughs> Why? Because some guy said, you know, I think I said something different about Apple that nobody's saying. Here it goes, right? I mean, he, hasn't, he doesn't have to recognize or he hasn't be, got to be paid money, but you just got to recognize that and say, oh, that's interesting. You never thought about that way. <laughs> Now, if an entrepreneur looks at this and he's going to say, oh, I never thought about that one, that gives you an opportunity to, to, you know, to maybe even surpass Apple. I mean, it's a source of inspiration to a certain degree, right? Yeah. But, you know, I mean, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. It's still, it's still seen as, uh, you know, somebody just trying to be provocative and, and uh, you know, you're rubbing against the system. And that's not the way it should be. I mean, it should be, it should be normal for us, you know, us misfits to, uh, to have our ways, to have our boys and to do our thing. I mean, if it, and if it you know, and, 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 and even, you know, frankly, if it were that way, um, <laughs> You know, us misfits wouldn't have to be creating our own systems where we can play by ourselves. <laughs> exactly. that, that's exactly what we do. Yeah. We don't want to play in this system because it sucks. Well, we, I'm going to create my own, right? <laughs> It's like Willy Wonka. Let's create a Willy Wonka world because the other, the other world sucks, right? It's the same old story. It's going to re keep repeating itself, re keep repeating itself all the time. Um, And that, 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 that actually, when, when misfits create their own world, that when... Things like Google and Apple and everything. That's how it came about. Yeah. You know, when I, I, you know anytime I publish something that has to do with these kinds of things, uh, you'll see me use the hashtag create new worlds. And people always ask me about that. Like, like what, are you, what are you trying to say? I mean, if they don't know me. <laughs> I'm saying, well, because I'm literally, you know, saying this sucks. Let's create a different world. <laughs> Let's create a new one. Let's create a new And that, that takes courage. That takes something else. It doesn't, it's not... The thing that you find, um, you know, in a traditional job where I all my tasks align to, you know, to, to, to certain hours and that's what I do every day. I mean, that's not how it works. I mean, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's insane. At some point, machines are going to take that over, by the way. <laughs> We're still not there yet, but it will happen. <laughs> it will happen. And, you know, it, it, more, more of the jobs or more of the things that will have value will be related to creating stuff. Doing stuff that, that, that humans are, um, you know, we humans actually do, <laughs> which is not just following orders. Things robots can do. Yeah. So I mean, the the this 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 concept of reputation is, I think, very important um, for you know for that reason. I mean, we do not want to. I mean, we already know it's coming. It's it's playing out around us already, but. How do we get to the point where it doesn't get to what we're saying, right? Um, I think it will. We can't stop it. Yeah, we can't because it's human bias. But I don't think that's. I mean, I don't. I, I really don't think we. It's 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 un, it's impossible not to do something. <laughs> um, because I mean, imagine. Well, I mean, this is. And you can take it to the extreme. Imagine that misfits would get fired on the spot because of being creative, bumping against the system. And this goes to politics, this goes to everything, <laughs> to the history of the world. I mean, do we want to get to that point? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Well, maybe we do, because if we get to that point, we're going to need to change something. Yeah, but we got to change it now. <laughs> we have to change it. And, I'm, and, and, and the reason I'm saying this is because we are still at the point where where mach we still have control over, over machines, right? We're still not to the point where uh, machines are smarter than us or, or equal in smartness from us. We're still at the point where we're still designing that capability, <laughs> right? And things are, are going to move even faster. I mean, just uh, Monday, um, Google open-sourced their um, artificial intelligence platform which they practically it's, it's their tools that they use internally to, you know, to, 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 to get their algorithms to learn, 
to get their photos to learn. I mean, everything, you know, everything that has to do with machine learning, that's what they release to the world. So they're just open source it. That's going to accelerate things even more. Um, how fast are we? We don't know yet, but it, it will. It will. And that's, that's, that's one of the things that I see and say, damn, how fast are we going to move to a point where the things that we don't want to happen are going to happen? <laughs> right? I mean, this is, this is the bottom line. That's the bottom line. I mean, I think, I mean, ideally, we, we live in, in a world where, you know, kind of like, like Uber works. We, we would, you know, oh, Jorge needs a job. Oh, Jorge is this way, this way, this way. The previous jobs he's done are like this, right? His, his uh, personality fits into this type of thing where he can add that value. That's what the algorithm is going to read. And then the, the algorithm goes out and starts looking for those types of things. And then he brings them to you. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Because you can make the most impact. I mean, it's not a thing about cost or, oh, that guy's going to cost me less money than the other guy. Which, as you know, that's pretty much how everything decided in Mexico <laughs> all the time. Yeah. They let go talent like, you know, like it's money. I mean, seriously. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And yeah, but, but, I mean, the, there's a lot of um, jobs that would not be interested in us at all and maybe for the more common not misfit people maybe they would they would like that um um it looks for it yeah i mean it, yeah it, it'd be convenient it's like uh if you study and get good grades you're gonna get a good job kind of like that if you yeah. behave you're gonna get a good job if you follow the rules you're gonna get a good job if you're nice to everyone you're gonna get a good job so Maybe for some people that's gonna be like, yeah, yeah it's because amazing. It, it takes a, it, you know, it, it, it incentivizes conformity basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's gonna conform. Oh, I just gotta do that. It's kind of like like the school system, which is bullshit now because we all know that the school ballot proposition is 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 irrelevant. I mean, frankly, if this, I mean, back then school would say, oh, if you get a degree, you get a job, right? We all know that's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Not anymore. Maybe 50 years ago it was. But... Yeah, at the beginning. But now it's, 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 it's irrelevant. And, and that's, that's really where we're going to with, you know, if we continue on with this, with this pace. I mean, I remember, I remember a few years ago, Clout, um, this company called Clout with a K, um, they had this, the beginnings of a reputation system for social networking. And... I remember I had a cloud between 78 and 83 and kind of fluctuated between every week. I, I've never un really understood why it fluctuated. <laughs> I mean, I took my time to read, read through the things and try to understand how the algorithm worked. It was all bullshit. It was, it was really predetermined on how many people follow you, how many retweets you get, and, you know, the value of the people that are following you. Basically, that was it. I thought it was bullshit. Because I remember... Steve Jobs had a cloud of 100. <laughs> really? That's it? And he's never tweeted, by the way. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg had a cloud of 100. He's never tweeted. Jeff Bezos, 100. Really? <laughs> I had a 48 to 52. 40 to 52? Oh. Yeah, and, and I never did anything. I, if you check my tweets, if you check my online activity, uh, I don't exist that much. Yeah, so. no. I don't know what they were basing it on. Yeah, I mean, it's... It, it, I mean, it, it never made any sense to me to follow that thing. I mean, it was it was just... I mean, I mean, you, under, you understand why they're doing it? You want to take advantage of it? I mean, it's there. It's an opportunity. Yeah, I mean, they raised the money, all that stuff. I think it even got sold. I don't remember. But really, I mean, I understand that. But it wasn't useful. <laughs> yeah. And now imagine that that's how you get a job. Yeah. That's how you make that's, a living. That's that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. I mean, that's the problem. I mean, imagine this. Um, so you and I are Gen Y, right? Yeah, we're Gen Y. Or yeah, I am Gen Y. You are Gen Y because you're you're younger than I am, like two years. So yeah. yeah, you are Gen Y. We are Gen Y. Okay, my brother and sister, they are Gen. What do you call them? Gen Z, Generation Z. Okay, so that's the world they're gonna they're gonna you're gonna get. <laughs> And then the, the world, the, the people behind them will get, is going to be even more digital <laughs> with all these things in play. So basically, I mean, your, your, your daughter, 
And what world is she going to live in? What's going to predetermine her success? Some algorithm? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Some Maybe. fucking algorithm that's going to determine her sex? Maybe. I mean... <laughs> Maybe I won't let her get into the system in the first well, place. Well, there you go, right? But mo <laughs> but remember, kids now use Facebook. I mean, I mean, I remember my friend, my friend Gigi. Her, I mean, this was like eight years ago, and I remember her daughter used to tell me, "Oh, my mom doesn't let me get a hotmail hotmail um, email account." And I'm like, really? She's like, can you help me open one? <laughs> and I was like, damn. I mean, this is my, my friend's daughter, right? I mean, and I went, I would have to ask, you know, her mom, right? And I said, I gotta ask your mom. I mean, you can't do this. She's like, oh, please, my mom won't let me. I mean, what do you, what do you want to do with it? She's like, oh, I just want to have an email. I mean, and Facebook was just starting out, right? So obviously she didn't have a Facebook account, but she wanted an email. <laughs> what for? She just wanted to have one because all the kids around her had one. And that's yeah. how they communicated back then. But now it's different. I mean, everybody's Snapchatting. Everybody's doing all these things. I mean, basically, um, a lot of a lot of things that you know our our door how our doors are going to open in the future, or our kids' doors are going to open in the future, are going to depend on their digital footprint. <laughs> it all goes back to stupid parents, dude. That I mean, if look look what we did. We have we have the internet with. Everything you want to know about everything online. You can learn new languages. You can learn new skills. You can learn anything you want to learn about. You can learn how to build robots. Anything you want to learn. And what do we use it the most for? Porn. Porn, yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, we okay. love porn. So, Snapshot. Snapshot, what do we use it the most for? Sending new pictures. Sending new pictures. And is that what it was originally intended to do? No. The creator, I think, said that, yeah, it was intended for, for him to it, get naked they, pictures. Yeah, because they disappear. Yeah, but, I mean, it's, it's... There's a lot of things you could use them for something else, but bad parents have bad uh, sons and daughters, and <clears throat> that creates, like, a huge avalanche of shit. That's happening everywhere because, okay, why would a, let's say, an eight-year-old um, kid need Snapchat for? Just to be all day sending pictures to their friends? <laughs> That's a waste of time. That's a, They're not being productive. My daughter, my daughter doesn't use iPhone or iPad, and if she does, it's like 30 minutes a week or something like that because I don't want her to not be productive. I mean, I, I see a lot of parents right now that they have their, their daughters or their sons or whatever, and they have them all the time with iPads or iPhones. So they're, so they're doing something and they're not bothering them. But that's just, hey, I'm not, I'm not being a parent. So if you're not a parent, your kids grow up like very technological and all that stuff, but eventually they won't know how to do normal things. I mean, it, it's all going to be technological and they're going to misuse the technology and it's just going to create more stupid stupidity or stupid people in the world. And I mean, Facebook, there's tons and tons of stupid people on Facebook that don't even know how to spell correctly. And I mean, yeah. they don't even the try. Track. It's it's it, But those are the people that decide what technology <laughs> does. Or what it's you know, used what, for. You know, I, I, there was there was news still even about a month ago that Facebook was going to release the the unlike button or the or the you know <laughs> I call it the the up yours button, like you suck button, right? Yeah. Um, uh, they didn't do it, but I mean, if they did it, man, people like us, we would have a field day, because I would, I would, I mean. You, I mean, how much crap goes through our news feed? I mean, in everything. I mean, it's not even the news feed. Just, 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 just Facebook, but even Twitter. And I do a pretty damn good job of filtering my things. <laughs> and I still see crap every once in a while in there. But, but Facebook? I mean, that would be the start of, of, of war. <laughs> war. <laughs> no, really. I mean, I mean people's, just... people's emotion. I mean, people would get hurt. <laughs> they already do. They, already they do. do. I mean, I know they do. I mean... Hey, listen, and, and this morning I was, I was looking through my, 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 my Twitter feed and I see 
this court story about a, a study they did of people who uh, left Facebook for about a month. They're happier people. You know, that's, this is what the study is saying, right? I'm not, I'm not surprised about that. I mean, there's other studies that have been saying that people get more happy because they spend more time on Facebook. Obviously, because they're comparing themselves to everybody, right? That's just one of the reasons why. The other reason is why is because nobody's receiving any likes. And they got to go around like your, your, your friend going around and asking for likes. <laughs> I, which I think is ridiculous, right? <laughs> you go around asking for your friends for likes? I mean, that's, I mean, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's pathetic. We want approval. You know what I mean? I mean, so imagine, imagine if, if, if Facebook released the unlike button. God damn, we'd be at war. They yeah. give us a field day, and also because I mean it's it's gonna be just fun if someone posts something happy, yes, just something like, stupid, just to <laughs> unlike it. Even if, if just because I'm bored or you're bored or whatever, yeah. or you don't like that person, you're gonna be like, oh, he posted something happy. I don't like. How many people would, 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 would you know commit suicide? <laughs> a lot, but why why should people commit suicide because it's of, ridiculous of online things? That's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, and, okay, do you have any idea if because I know there are a lot of kid suicides in the States yeah. because of cyberbullying. Yeah. How about in Mexico or how about in other countries? I never well, I'm not I'm pretty sure there is, but we, we rarely hear about it. <laughs> because Yeah, I mean, it's not something that, you know, our country is, you know, you know, scanning for. Because um, they had that thing that Video games make you um, make you kill, violent, kill people. Yeah, yeah make you violent, stupid. kill that's people. So, so um, you have the United States where that happens like every month, and then you have uh, South Korea where they have the biggest game tournaments, game, game tournaments in, in the world, and there has never ever been a, yeah. a, a shooting yeah. over there. And in the states, there has been. So I don't know. Maybe the the, the their way of life or the way of life in the States, with it, which is like almost the same here in Mexico. Maybe that's the reason that people go crazy or kill themselves or well, shoot people. A lot, of, a lot of it has to do with um, the marketing machine that is the U.S. I mean, there's a lot of and consumption, basically. That's what it comes down to. I mean, my friend has that. Oh, I also want that. Oh, I can't have it because blah, 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 I don't have a job. I don't have money. I don't have blah, 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 blah. so I'm fucking unhappy. And all these things, you know, push you to do things. And you know, and that's the state of mind thing. I mean, everything's about fitting in. And unfortunately, that's the way it is, right? Um, and and that's also. I mean, imagine, because <laughs> I mean, I mean, and I don't want to get into this topic, but I mean, it's kind of going there. But this the, the topic about sh mass shootings. In the U.S., they're trying to. I mean, we're gotten to the point where people are trying to detect when somebody's going to turn into a shooter, right? Well, that's that's not. I'm going to say it's impossible, but unless we we put chips in people's brains and actually scan scan them for everything, everything they're thinking about, we might get to that point. <laughs> Minority report, but it's, but it's but it's. I mean, it's impossible because um, there's various factors. It's not it's not people who play video games. I mean, it could be any random person who just that they just snapped <laughs> right they had enough have you, seen, have you seen that comic that australian comic that makes very good points on gun control no be, well australia doesn't have guns exactly that's one of his points it's like they, they, were, they were eliminated we we used to have guns and then in 1996 we had the biggest that's what he says we had the biggest massacre, the massacre in, the world. in the world now we still hasn't yeah. been beat <laughs> and the government said, you know what, guys? That's it. Enough. No more guns for you. And they said, like, oh, and, and we all responded, that sounds fair. Okay. And then you have all these mass shootings in the States, and they kill little kids. Yeah. And the government goes, well, maybe we should get rid of the big guns? That's ridiculous. And, I mean, it's proven that all the shooters have access to guns, easy access to guns. Another point Everybody he makes. Does. Yeah, in the States. Everybody does. I mean, why, why, why aren't there shootings in Mexico? Yeah. Because you can't afford a gun. You can't afford a gun, and it's a big process to even get one. And if you get an illegal gun, it's because you're a drug dealer, and drug dealers kill other drug dealers. So, <laughs> and this is another point the comic makes. He's like, 
Well, guns, if you want to buy a gun in Australia, you got to buy it at the black market. And a gun, a normal gun, goes for around $30,000. <laughs> so if you're able to, to save $30,000 to buy a gun, keep going. You're doing good. You're good at saving. <laughs> I so you, you, you don't become a criminal because he already saved $30,000 yeah. to buy a gun. So he makes a lot of good points, and that's another point he makes. That I'm making a lot of good points, and I'm foreign, and all these Americans are like, go back to your country or whatever. And he's like, no, I won't. I won't <laughs> because I can live here. But, I mean, if, if you see other countries, and they don't have mass shootings, and the state does... I mean, what are they doing that they aren't? Yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, it's, it's, also, tr it's also like like unemployment. I mean, uh, well, we're, and we're, before anyone starts saying shit about this, I love guns. <laughs> I love guns. I've been to shooting ranges. If I, the only reason I would go and move to the states is to be able to buy guns and have guns and shoot guns. But it's a little bit more important or way more important for me that my daughter is safe when she goes to school because that that's just some bullshit that your daughter or your son goes to school and maybe they're going to get shot that gonna day. They're going to get shot that day, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and the answer to this is, okay, let's put armed guards in the schools. I mean, <laughs> are you prepping them for prison or what? <laughs> that's just, it's just crazy. I mean, let's all live in peace, okay? <laughs> Don't rape me. I, I have a gun. Yeah. Imagine. Okay, okay. Let's go back to that. You're raiding me. I have a gun. I'm going to go buy a gun. Yeah. You're raiding me. I play video games. <laughs> and I have guns. Yeah. Does that mean I'm going to go gonna, crazy? And you're going to rape me that I'm not charismatic or that yeah, I yeah. don't deserve that job? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the point. That's the point. <laughs> Rate people that have access to you, guns. I mean, in your case, you can't say that you like guns because... People will make assumptions and say, oh, he likes guns. Oh, you also like video games, by the way. You like playing Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. crap, this guy. And you like, and you made a movie about killing zombies. I mean, oh, crap, this guy's going to go fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I love Call of Duty, and I love giving headshots. And, I mean, it's it's the best feeling in the world when you're sniping someone and you shoot them in the head and they die. <laughs> and your kill-to-death ratio is better than everyone else. I mean, it's a great feeling. It's an amazing feeling. That doesn't mean I'm going to go and kill people because I know it's... Yeah. One thing is fantasy and the other is reality. And actually, I mean, I love films. I love action films. But when I see films like Saving Private Ryan or any war film, it depresses me because when you're playing Call of Duty, you get shot in the head or you stabbed in the back and you respawn. You, you're alive again. And you can do it like 20, 30, 40 times. Whatever. If you suck, you're going to do it more than that. But in real life, in just a second, you're dead. That's it. You kill someone or someone kills you, you're dead. They're dead. Just in a second because of some stupid argument or whatever. Yeah. It's insane. But, um, you know, that's, that's the thing that we're up against. <laughs> <laughs> or that we will be up against. We already are. But, I mean, at some point it's going to become even more transparent. I mean, it, it, that's the bottom line. So, <laughs> the question is, what can we do about it? Because uh, it, a lot of it depends on... on and, and human bias, I mean, that's the bottom line. And, and, and technology is not eliminated. I, I recently like, came to a conclusion, you can't change the world. All you can do is create a new one. Yeah. So my solution to everything right now is in Mexico or wherever I am or wherever it's cheap, go to the middle of nowhere, buy some land and create house. And just live there away from everything and do my create my own rules and I mean if you get down to it you actually don't need any money to survive. You can collect rainwater, you can Yeah, go back to uh when when a lot of things didn't exist. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm probably gonna be happier. And I can even shoot my films and stuff I still shoot them and but I think I'd be happier and I could even try and start a, a com small community of artists or or something. But I mean, yeah, because change, there's a lot of stupid people in the world right now. And it, it was driving me crazy. Did you hear about Starbucks? Um, the, the red cup? Yes. Everybody's talking about it. Oh my God. Who it, gives a shit? <laughs> exactly. Who gives a shit? Why are you talking about a red fucking cup? And the reason that they can't say Merry Christmas 
They can't. They it's can't. Shit. I don't give a shit if I want. Really, if if I wanted someone to tell me Merry Christmas, I mean, why can't they do it? Because it's policy. Hey, Merry Christmas. It's Christmas, not holiday. If everyone else has a different um, religion, that's cool. That's amazing. But I mean, it does. To me, it doesn't mean anything. It's just something I grew up with. Merry Christmas. Yeah. To me, something you say in Christmas time and. Uh, I don't know, and then, oh my God, there's a lot of Christian people that are like, Starbucks is waging war on Christmas and on Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and there's this guy who who went into a Starbucks. He's, I think he's a pastor. I'm not sure, but he's Christian, definitely Christian. And those kind of people give Christians a bad reputation. I'm reading them. But... This guy went into a Starbucks, and when they told him, "Hey, what's your name?" he he said, "Merry Christmas." <laughs> so they actually wrote "Merry Christmas" on the cup, and then he made a video. He's like, "Look, Starbucks, you can't say Merry Christmas, but they wrote Merry Christmas on my cup." And you know what? I went in there with my gun <laughs> because I think they have something of a like a stance against oh guns God. or whatever. Oh and he was like, <laughs> "Why is a Christian?" person have a gun and go into a Starbucks just to prove a point and that guy has a lot of influence on a lot of people he shouldn't he's not responsible he's he's a bit crazy to me and maybe I'm crazy to him but I'm at peace with myself and I'm not waging war against Starbucks yeah. using God's name <laughs> as, as an excuse because oh he was using I mean the Lord and this and that and <laughs> My God, it's, why don't you um, go and buy a ton of coffee and give it to the homeless people or food and give it to the homeless people instead of making videos with you, your gun and Starbucks? I mean, no one cares really. You, you don't like it, don't buy Starbucks. Go buy some please else. Just, I don't know. Concentrate on making the world a better place because Jesus would want that. I yeah. don't want you making a video against Starbucks because Jesus probably likes Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> and th that's the kind of people that kind of will run the world eventually because <laughs> the 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 mass the mob, the, the mob. yeah the mob is gonna eventually control a lot of things because if if a lot of people if they wanted to could make Starbucks change the, the their policies but what if they're stupid people that's that's like my point in all of this and it's it's stupid pointless stuff like that that doesn't you know. <laughs> but that's their, their concern yeah, that's right the now. Concern. Yeah, that's concern, yeah, I know. Instead of, of all the people who For are homeless and will have a very, very cold Christmas and they won't <laughs> have presents and they won't be with their families. And, I mean, and really that's the more important than a uh, fucking cup. Yeah. It is more important it's than a fucking cup, but a uh, cup's not that important at all. Who gives a cup without a cup? <laughs> yeah. Instead, I don't know, maybe Starbucks should be like, you know what? For every... Stupid video we get about our cup. We're gonna give out free stuff to the homeless. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be a good campaign, really, <laughs> because there's a shitload of stuff on on Facebook about that cup. Yeah, I mean, even I mean, even taking back to the topic is, you know, what if what if they use this as a campaign? To say, you know, whoever, whoever gives a good idea about this cup, you know, you, you know, your petition goes up or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> No, the, the worst thing is all those people who are talking about the, the, the cup and, and their guns and Jesus and stuff like that, those are the people who are reading you. Yeah. Those are the people deciding your future because yeah. they can, yeah. not because they have to, because yeah. they can. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And now you're you're doing that with Uber drivers who are making an anonymous living and you're rating them. Oh, that guy talks too much. I don't. I didn't like that. You're well, not he, a did, fucking, he didn't offer me water. <laughs> you're not a fucking king. You're riding on Uber, and Uber's not expensive. It's, it's, it's a service. That's you, it. You're not a fucking CEO of a multi-million dollar company with its own driver. You're just at Uber. It's a it's a nice taxi. Yeah. And that guy, the guy driving, is the same as you. So don't be fucking a little brat. <laughs> you don't deserve it. <laughs> really, you you don't deserve that yet because you can pay. Like three dollars for an Uber ride or five dollars for an Uber ride, that doesn't make you a, a the king of something or, pri or have privileges or whatever. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Don't be spoiled. Just 
everyone's the same. Everyone's the same and everyone can accomplish the same things. But if you start rating them, you won't give them the chance to do that. And that, that, that to me, that's just disgusting. But whatever, the people will want what the people will want and they will get what they want. And all I can do is go out in the middle of nowhere and <laughs> buy land and build a fucking <laughs> cabin and shoot my movies there. And if no one likes them, hey, at least I'm having fun. <laughs> and I'm happy. <laughs> all right. I think I'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you know, let us know what you think about the future of reputation. If you agree with us or not, um, send us some jokes. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are thinking about you know crazy stuff like us. Um, you know, follow us on Twitter. You know, drop us a note. I mean, so thanks for listening. And see, see you guys next week. <laughs>